Hi guys, welcome back. So now that Mega Man Zero Four is done, we're gonna go ahead and start a whole new project. Uh, yet another SquareSoft RPG. Uh, this time we're gonna be doing Final Fantasy V Advance. Uh, it's the only one of the uh, Advance Edition Final Fantasies I have yet to do, other than the one and two combo pack Dawn of Souls, which I have no idea if I'm ever gonna get around to that one. Anyway, this is the this game actually never came over to America when it was originally released for the Super Nintendo way back in the early 90s. Um, and it never came to America actually until the Final Fantasy or Final Fantasy anthologies for the PlayStation 1, where it had an absolutely horrid translation. Um, so then they remastered it and added a bunch of new stuff and put it on the Ed Game Boy Advance. So let's go ahead and get started. A man and his pet dragon. Yes. Despite how seemingly serious the opening is, um, Final Fantasy V actually has a much more lighthearted storyline than the other Final Fantasies. It, it definitely does not take itself seriously, despite the fact that its big bad is quite possibly one of the worst monsters to ever grace uh, video game fiction. Hmm, Ferris has a unique character portrait. He's probably going to be important. Oh, by worst monsters, I mean, like, he, he is... He is a very effective... Uh, he's a very effective big bad. He does not screw around. Yeah, yeah, they do. <clears throat> Sephiroth! <laughs> Sorry.
So one fun thing about Final Fantasy V is that you actually start off with a chocobo right off the bat. Which means free travel with no random encounters. Though, of course, doing that causes you to miss out on a lot of uh, XP and money, so... <laughs> well, you start with a chocobo. So, default name is Bart's. I don't really have a reason to change it at the moment. <laughs> uh, I could go with the original trans uh the original translation patch of butts. Not surprised. Isn't that what he named himself in the uh, in the Link to the Past race? Oh wait, no, not zero. Oh, you're talking about zero one. For some reason, I thought you were talking about Nekoishi. Two named characters with portraits and everything, and we're just going to leave them behind. This can't possibly uh, backfire. Now the Chocobo's getting uppity. So let's go rescue the old man and the little girl.
Yeah, that's usually how party joining works in Final Fantasy. At least the uh, at least the 8-bit and 16-bit ones. takes significantly more than that to kill him. See? Alright, so we can go running around with Boko, or we can actually get out and walk like normal people. Of course, the really funny thing is, despite the fact that the road's out, we can still go back up and down it. Yeah, go figure. Well, now we actually have to walk. Convenient recovery spring for grinding is convenient, but it's not really necessary because the enemies in this game are pretty mild. Of course, I do need to get some better equipment for Galoof and Lena. Yay, more random encounters, more experience, more money.
That's good. <laughs> hmm, the mystery deepens. Let's find out what the secret of this ship is. Oh look, it's a pirate lair. Hmm. He's just full of ideas. They're not they're generally not very good though. No, nope, they're all asleep. Alright, whatever. Let's just jack their ship. Oh, that's a cool idea. It'll actually give you incentive to fight him. Oh, look, it's Ferris. Good job, Bartz. Good job. Why didn't I rename you again? That's true for you. Why is he making it too easy? Because you're long lost siblings or something. That would be convenient. <laughs>
Alright, now we can actually get started on the game. Now that the initial storyline is over and we have our first party members. Because of course it's being pulled by a dragon. Nah, I can find it on my own. No idea where it is. The dragon is dragging the boat, yes. How clever of you. I wasn't aware MST was in uh, was here in watching as well. Oop. Can't go that way. Here we go. Wind Shrine. Music's kind of fun. Let's see what the NPCs have to say. Oh, communion. And a recovery. Alright, now before we actually go up the stairs, I'm going to go ahead and save, because saving is saving is probably a good idea. Let's go ahead into the first dungeon, the Wind Shrine. It's relatively straightforward, just follow the path. Most of the enemies are relatively harmless. Save point is convenient. I didn't even have to go out into the world. Yeah, I do too. They go back to calling it a save point in Final Fantasy VI. Oh wow. Getting elixirs right off the bat. <laughs> Not complaining about that. And that, obviously, is going to be some kind of a boss, most likely. Alright. 
out to give Galoof his weapon so he can actually deal... Well, considering it's a full heal... Incoming boss! All we can do is just beat it down. Oh look, we're being blessed by the crystals. And looks like Lena's dad is dead. Alright, so, we have obtained the first six job classes. One thing about Final Fantasy V is that you can swap jobs of the characters freely to change their specialties and what they can and can't use uh, and what skills they have available. Right now, I'm going to switch everybody over to a blue mage. simply because the Blue Mage has the ability to learn enemy skills. And after uh, leveling up the Blue Mage to its first level, they get the ability to... Actually, maybe with the second level. Um, but they get the ability to uh, learn enemy skills while in other classes as well. Alright, so... Not to mention, blue mages can use uh, daggers and broadswords, so they're not completely defenseless.
No, you do not. Um, three of the four characters you have the entire game. One of them does get replaced later on. make our way over... Oh, here we go. Convenient town is convenient. And the pirates are going to get drunk. Because, of course, they are. It's not like they'll trash the place, they'll just drink it dry. Get, get over here. And now Ferris is going back to get drunk. Why don't you just rejoin the party if you want me to buy stuff for you? Uh. But yeah, uh, Final Fantasy V does have the smallest cast out of any Squaresoft, uh, out of any Final Fantasy. Well, actually, unless you consider the original Final Fantasy, where you were stuck with the same four characters the entire game. Alright. Oh. so he might let us through it. Great. I actually never played the original Final Fantasy 3, um, or the NES one, or for the DS. I played 1, 2, or I played uh, 1 and 2, I played all the Super Nintendo ones and all the PlayStation ones, but never 3. Uh-oh. Tragic backstory for Bart's time. He says, while his kid is in bed behind him. I really enjoyed 4's DS remake. I really hope they end up doing it for 5 and 6 as well, or something similar to that. Creepy old man is being creepy.
All right, let's see. Do you have anything to loot, old man? Uh, nope. All right. You are useless to me, old man. Actually, uh... Let's see... Really? Uh... Yeah, I can sell this. Because this will let me get... Uh, selling that will allow me to buy the remaining magic. Uh... Because in this game, you have to buy your magic, or find it. So... Alright. Now, let's see... Okay, yep, we have all the level 1 magic. Yay, dancers! Happy dancers. Well, that was a thing. Great, that means there's going to be a monster in the canal we have to fight. No, we are not. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that again. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. get started on the actual adventure. All 
Alright, see you later, Elm. Before I do anything, I need to equip all my new stuff. Alright. Let's go ahead and get over to the canal. Before we actually enter, I'm going to save here, and I'm going to take a quick break. When I come back, we will enter into the canal in our next major dungeon. So, see you guys in a little bit.